Back here with another deck profile for Dragon Ball Super. And uh, until Dra until Yu Gi Oh picks back up and the ban list hits, I won't be doing many deck profiles for that at all until we get some innovative shit. And uh, the ban list kills Zoo and so that's why I should play. Now, uh, when I get all the red eyes cards, I will do a red eyes deck profile. Hopefully, we finish that deck within the week. And but uh, today we're going to discuss Hit and the underrated leader that he is, and actually how properly to play this deck. And we'll go ahead and get into it. Okay. So let's go ahead and start. So we got hit, and obviously there's a, there's the, the actual card hit, and then there's the leader hit. I don't know why they, they sold the art like that, but his front side it looks like this, and uh, he basically pumps for five thousand when he swings, regardless of where he swings at, and it's similar to Vados, but he just actually like puts some pressure regardless. But the thing is, a lot of people try to keep you at five or six. You won't wake him. So he basically will force your opponent to like lose cards to keep alive, even if they keep you at 5 or 6. And uh, basically, uh, when he flips, he does the same thing. But he, on this side, he pumps 5,000 and be 20 without even any pumps besides any combos. So he's going to force your force cards to your opponent's hand regardless. And he also can discard a red card and negate a blocker, uh, which is very good against yellow. And I, what I've played against so far is playing Gohan and. Uh, and all their yellow leaders, I just destroy those decks with this. And we're going to get to the, the extra cards first. Zero, four zero drop Cobb's Awakening. You don't really want to keep energy open too much with this unless you're actually going to protect yourself from dying. Because they don't like to awaken you, so you're usually not going to take much damage actually after you get under four life. And uh, four awa Awakening helps. Especially when you're putting on pressure too. Then four assistance. Don't, I don't understand how people could not play this card. Like, it helps to protect your Cobb's. It's amazing. Speaking of Kaba, you got four Kaba. This card's red, red save you. If you're playing red, you have to play four. Then you got four Little Champa. I think this is necessary if you're playing any red deck, to be honest. He is also a god, so he's not an alien, so he doesn't do well with Vados, the five drops, so I don't play that card. And I also don't want to, I don't want the game to go past turn five, anyways. So, in most cases, unless I'm just playing it's like uh, the Golden Frieza or something like that, so I, what I don't want him to awaken. But uh, we got four Chompa, the searcher for Chompas. Then, this is the cool part of this deck. He's the card that no one else plays. Uh, four Kaya Tenet of Universe 6. Uh, this card's underrated. Uh, but I'll show you, I'll explain why I play this card in a little bit. So, four hit, obviously. Because he's like one of the best cards. If we had more red cards that were two cost 15k, this deck would be inst like insane. Four Vados, the 10k pumper draw card. You gotta play it. Four Destruction Chompa. This is actually how you end most games with, uh, with hit. Uh, you swing with the leader, then you pump this, and they, and you pumped over a hundred thousand and killed them. And uh, if you don't, if you don't believe me, Branson himself, he saw it. It happening, happening against Frieza, Ginyu, and Gohan. It always pump over a ton of damage. Don't forget the double strike. Fact, and, I'm saying that's what you do: double strike when they're at two life and kill them, because they can't, they can't stop so many attacks. Then you got four Magetta. combos perfectly with this card. Uh, four Goku. Um, this card is insane in this deck. If you put like two, like three of these guys in the field, like he's a one drop, so he'll be a 15k with one Goku, and then late game, this guy will roll your hand, and you'll play a second one on turn six, and they literally can't do anything about it unless they have blood lust. Like, and then even then, you st they still lost a card, and you still put a 15k beater on the field, and it stays on the board this time. This card is beyond, without a, without a doubt, the best raid card, like besides Kava, and you, and utilizing it. In the best manner for especially for this deck, it will pump hit to 25, 25 because he already pumps for five. That's without combos. If they let the attack in with with hit, that's it. Then you got three Batamos. Uh, this was a card I was tipped to play four of, and but I probably just stopped the fourth one, as always. Then we got three Universe Six Supreme Kai. He will get this guy out of the deck for me when he's played and no one else plays him. But thing is, this is like a double striker that puts another body on field, so he's like really 25k at the, at the minimum. And he's also, I don't know, he just puts a lot of pressure on The thing is, you, you let him usually sit there until you're about to push for game. Then to the finishers, we play the two hit. Uh, I wish I had you another know, SPR. But uh, this guy, he just, he's like there just to finish the game just in case. He actually put, scares your opponent more than anything, so I play him as energy most of the time. But, uh, because you don't know how you play. And, uh, and the game's two and three, I guess I don't know, but you don't really need to. He's usually there just to kill. And then 
and this is the guy that ends the game most cases. Uh, as you see my other day, Bravado Champa, the leader, he ends the game. He's triple strike. He for that, a lot of damage. Um, basically, your turn playouts are typically like this. Turn one, you're gonna play a Champa. Turn two, you're gonna play. Hopefully, you have another Champa and a universe six. So this will be your turn two. The turn three, you'll end up playing a Kaba because most likely you're trying to awaken. And hopefully you'll have another good board card to put on field. And basically you just keep curving out and you'll put a big old massive amount of field and then you kill them. Unless you get Gohan. And Gohan actually 